In order for something to get moving, it must be pushed or pulled along. In science, pushes and pulls are called forces, and they can be used in lots of different ways. Today, we will discuss about the effects of force on the movement of an object. Good day, everyone. Welcome to Science Grade 4, Week 2. Today, we will study the effects of force on the motion of an object. Sir Isaac Newton proposed three laws of motion in 1665. First, if an object is not moving, it will not start moving by itself. If an object is moving, it will not stop or change direction unless something pushes it. Second, objects will move farther and faster when they are pushed harder. And third, when an object is pushed in one direction, there is always a resistance of the same size in the opposite direction. Now, what is motion? Motion is a continuous change in the position of an object with respect to a reference point. Today, I will ask you again to perform another activity entitled, Look What You Made Me Do. The objective of this activity is to demonstrate how can force affect the motion of an object. You need to prepare the following materials, ball, toy car, balloon, chair, stone, and marble. First, you have to prepare all the needed materials. Second, decide on how will you demonstrate the following situations. Number one, from rest, I want you to make the object move. B. Make the moving object move faster. C. Make the moving object move slower. Make the moving object change its direction. And lastly, make the moving object stop. Now answer the following questions. Number one. What did you apply on the objects in all situations? 2. Without force, will the object at rest move? 3. Without force, will the object in motion stop? 4. Without force, will the moving object change direction? And number 5. How does force affect the motion of the object? Force can cause an object to move, to stop, or to change direction. The amount of force affects how fast or slow the motion of the object is. Without force, an object at rest will not move. Without force, a moving object will not stop. Let's discuss more about force. I want you to observe the diagram. The truck on top stays still while the other truck below moves in this direction. Why? Observe the ship. The ship is floating on the water. The forces are balanced. Which forces are acting on the ship? Isang halimbawa ng balance forces ay ang paglalayag ng isang barko. Bakit ang isang barko ay hindi lumulubog since mabigat naman ito? Because gravity and water's up thrust are equal, the ship stays afloat. Next, the vase is resting on the table. It is not moving. Therefore, the forces must be balanced. 
which forces are acting on the vase? Gravity and the table's up thrust. Now we have an example of unbalanced forces. When two forces are acting on an object and are not equal in size, we say the forces are unbalanced. Unbalanced forces cause a change in motion by changing the object's speed or direction. The man and the parachute are slowly falling to the ground. Which forces are acting on the parachute? Which force is bigger? How can you tell? Gravity is pulling the man to the ground. Air resistance is pushing upwards. Gravity is the bigger force. We can tell this because the direction of movement of the man and the parachute is the same as the direction of the force of gravity. Next, the same forces are acting on the elephant. But without a parachute, there is much less air resistance. Gravity is pulling to the ground. while air resistance is pushing the elephant upwards. Gravity is a much bigger force because there is a bigger difference between the force pulling downwards and the force pushing upwards. The elephant falls much more quickly than a man with a parachute. The paper clip is jumping up to the magnet. Which forces are acting on the magnet? Which is the greater force? The magnetic force is pulling the paper clip upwards. Gravity is pulling the paper clip to the ground. The magnetic force is greater than the force of gravity. Therefore, the paper clip moves in the direction of the biggest force. Dumikit ang paper clip doon sa magnet dahil mas malakas ang magnetic force kumpara sa gravity kaya hindi sila nahuhulog basta-basta. Each team is exerting a force. What happens if the pulling force produced by each team is equal? Halimbawa pareho, gagalaw ba? Hindi, kasi ang tawag doon ay balanced forces. What would happen if the team on the left were able to produce a bigger pulling force than the team on the right? Siyempre, mas mananalo sila kasi mas mahihilan nila dahil sa mas malakas ang kanilang force. Based on the forces shown, which arm wrestler will likely win? Which direction will both arms move? Which direction will the rope move? Which direction will the ball roll?
Drop it.